everyone, this is Chappie over here at Intense, and for today's video, we're gonna be going over how to set up the cable loop that is located underneath our bike. This is an important factor in making sure that the longevity of our bike is intact, that we don't have any excessive cable wear on the frame, and we maintain performance of our brake and shift cables. All right, so when referencing our cable loop, this loop here is what we're talking about. So the distance we're gonna be referencing for this setup process is the distance between the bottom of the bottom bracket and the inside edge of our cable for our loop. So this measurement is between 38 to 40 millimeters. We're gonna take our ruler or calipers, whatever is handy to you, and we're going to place the edge of our ruler to the bottom of the bottom bracket. And we're gonna be looking for the distance measurement from the bottom of the bottom bracket to the underside of the cable. And then we can check the same thing over here. So we're 42, 43 millimeters. So this cable loop on this side is within range as well. So if you have too little cable loop, maybe your cables are tight. So what happens here is what we call the saw effect where as the suspension cycles, everything's moving up in a way, so that causes this area to extend slightly. So if it's too tight, we're gonna be pulling on the cables and it could be sliding that cable in and out of the frame or causing excessive wear to the mounts and or the cable and housing. If it's too big, this up opens us up to situations where maybe it's getting caught on things and potentially could get damaged. That's why we want to make sure we're in that 38 to 40 millimeter range. Um, and if we are setting this cable loop and we notice that it's not maintaining and the cables are very easy to move, what we'll do is we'll remove our zip ties and we will reinstall fresh ones and make sure that they are nice and snug. So we'll just take our zip ties off. All right, so now we'll go ahead and reinstall our zip ties. So coming from the outside edge, wrapping our zip tie through the center, we'll loop it around the cable and through the mount, and we'll pull it just snug. And then we'll repeat that same process on the other side. So now we're within range. What we'll do is we'll give the zip tie a pull. And then in an effort to make sure it's snug, we'll take our zip tie cutters or cable, cable cutters and we'll just lightly grab the zip tie and get one more click out of it like that. And from that point, you can trim that off, take your thumb and roll the zip tie to the center. That will help ensure that that cable is nice and snug. Now from that point, our cable should be nice and snug and should not go anywhere. All right, so there you have it. We successfully completed our cable loop setup. If you have any questions on this process or need any further assistance with this, don't hesitate to reach out. We're more than happy to help you. Thanks for choosing Intense.